It is a disease that slowly destroys your memory, how you think, talk, even carry out the simplest of tasks. Well, tonight, an original report on Alzheimer's disease, how Bay Area scientists may have fixed a big genetic problem linked to the disease. At the annual Walk to End Alzheimer's in the Bay Area, family members take steps to raise money to fight the disease. For some, it feels like an uphill battle. The fact that they don't have a cure or anything to really help it. It's the hardest thing our neurologists have had to solve. And they haven't solved it. There's nothing. But now at the prestigious Gladstone Institutes in San Francisco, some startling discoveries and a glimmer of hope. I'm, I'm excited about this one. We feel very excited. She said this has Dr. Ya Dong Wong and his team may have found a way to erase a major genetic risk factor for Alzheimer's. The risk is a potentially dangerous gene called APOE4. You inherit it from a parent. Anyone carries one copy can increase three to four fold risk to develop Alzheimer's disease. If you inherit two copies, your risk of developing Alzheimer's jumps even more dramatically, up to 15-fold. So it's a very profound effect. 60% of people with Alzheimer's disease have the gene. UCSF and SFVA Medical Center Alzheimer's expert Dr. Michael Weiner, he says if you can get rid of APOE4, your risk would drop Substantially. Thanks to some Alzheimer's patients, the scientists at Gladstone are moving closer to that goal. Each patient carries two copies of the gene, and each one donated a tiny sample of skin to the scientists. All we need is just to you know, very small piece. Using new technology, the scientists converted the skin cells into millions of special stem cells. These stem cells can be used to create any kind of cell in the human body. In this study, they were turned into living human neurons. Instead of studying the risky gene in mice, we are dealing directly with the human brain cells. This allowed scientists for the first time to study how APOE4 damages human brain cells. This risky gene makes a protein that, instead of looking like this, is deformed and looks like this. Uh, the APOE4 produces toxic proteins, which which affect the nerve and cause it to do bad things. The scientists then decided to test a drug on the protein. The drug corrected the structure and in lab tests erased the protein's toxic effects. The damaged neurons seen here turned healthy again. This is very encouraging. The next step is to test the drug compound in humans. It's a remarkable new approach to a terrible disease affecting a growing number of families. Our brother TJ has early onset. My grandmother had Alzheimer's disease and then my mom had early onset dementia. Now the Bay Area is gearing up for the next walk to end Alzheimer's which is coming up in November.